It's playoff time in Oklahoma City, and InsideThunder.com presents the Thunder Game Report, powered by Wheeler Whitlock Insurance Agency, giving you the best value for your insurance dollar. Um, we competed. Uh, I think we didn't get on a couple possessions. We didn't come up with the fifty-fifty balls. Um, a few offensive rebounds helped hurt us. Um, Bad uh, execution on the defensive end and the offensive end on all of us at certain times, but it's tied one one. We just got to go get one on the road. You guys are down nine in the fourth quarter. Come back, you hit the put back to send it to overtime. What were your thoughts during that whole stretch? Just keep working, never give up. Um, just try to give ourselves a chance. Uh, we competed. We did. We had a lot of mental breakdowns tonight, so we got two days to go to the film room and watch and see what we correct and um, just bounce back. They shoot 49%. You just mentioned mental breakdowns. What was, what was the main problem there? They seem to get loose and win. Um, we just had a lot of uh, mix-ups, not communicating. Uh, they hit some tough shots. We didn't put enough pressure on them, so um, that's on all of us. When you have a night like this where you have the home court advantage, the crowd is going nuts, you guys were able to have a great sequence of events to get it to overtime. Uh, how tough is it to lose this game? It's hard. Um, but at the end of the day, you can't. You got to stay even kill. So even with a win, you can't get too high, can't get too low with a loss. Um, it's a lot of basketball to play. So we just got to strap up our boots and get ready to go get one in Memphis. It's tough, you know, uh, but it's definitely not the end of the world. You know, we got to... Plenty more basketball to be played, so uh, you know we gotta look up, understand why we lost, and move on. Tyler, you make the big steal. Kevin's got the four-point play, perfect the put back. What were the emotions like, kind of in that mm -hmm. stretch run and regulation? It was, it was crazy, you know. But uh, you know, I think we uh, we were in a bad spot. You know, we couldn't quite get a stop uh, when we needed it. You know, and it's unlike us. You know, we gotta give them credit for uh, the way they move the ball, the way they attack the basket, and everything. Uh, you know, we just gotta. See, you know, watch what we did wrong and understand it and move on. Serge, obviously a, a tough emotional battle tonight. What was the difference in your mind tonight? Um, it was tough, man. Tough. They did great, great job, start aggressive, you know. Um, you know, but we didn't give it up, you know. We was trying to keep fighting. Um, you know, and we, we, we need to give them more credit, man. You know, they do a good job and defense and offense. How crazy was that stretch in the fourth quarter when Kevin gets the four-point play and Perk gets a putback? Oh, it was very crazy, you know. Very, very crazy. Like I said, we never give it up, you know. We never give it up, no matter what. Um, we never give it up. Look ahead to game three. What do you guys need to do better in that one? Uh, well, now we need to do a better job of starting aggressive, you know. Early in the game, they start pretty aggressive and then take us time to get back in the game. We need to do a better job like a team, start aggressive and mindset and defense and offense. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we, we didn't have the same energy we did in game one. Um, we had okay energy, but that, that wasn't good enough. I think uh, in game one, we really um, uh, dictated what was going on on the court we, both, on both ends. Uh, tonight we didn't do it as much, and Memphis is a good team. They changed, they made some adjustments. I think they play with some more movement and um, some different actions that were hard to guard for us. And uh, we got to be able to play better. So is heading into Game Three is a kind of a combination of the intensity factor and some of the X's and O's that you guys need to change. Yeah, I mean every game is is going to be incredibly difficult from here on out. So uh, we just have to play at a higher level which sounds very easy. There's a lot of things that go into that. But we're going to have to uh, watch film and, uh, and come out and play better basketball. It's going to be tough on the road, but uh, we're confident we can get a win or two. Did you guys, um, like the other night, Memphis is down 25, they expend all this energy to get back within two, and then don't have anything left. Did you expend that kind of energy to get into the OT and then not have anything left at the start of OT? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think um, it was more about execution in this game. And uh, we couldn't get good shots get good enough shots and, and they did so uh, I think we I think we had enough left but um, we didn't play well enough. Anything else? Nick, is, he, the end, is, is anything gained out of that miracle finish in regulation to, to get the overtime? Do you get anything out of that? No, it's a loss and the, uh, it's either worth a point in the win column uh, or
whatever the other team gets it. So it doesn't matter. We got to get uh, three more to win the series. Was it defensive issue, especially with their reserves like Udra and guys like that that came on and played a lot during the game? Well, they like I said, they they played a little differently. Um, they they had some some good actions on offense. Um, they they spread us out with they had Zach on the bench and they they played with one big, and uh, and really moved us more than than in game one. So we'll have to watch film and and be be ready for that. Sam Rich, InsideThunder.com. I know tonight was a tough loss, but what are you proud of tonight? Uh, I don't know. That's an interesting question, actually. Uh, no, I, don't, I mean, I don't, I don't know if proud is the right word. I mean, I don't, you know, I think we, uh, you know, we understand that this is the NBA and this is the playoffs. And, um, you know, like we talked about the other night, there isn't a script to, you know, how this is supposed to go. And so, you know, for us, it's about, uh, you know, learning from it, responding, uh, and you know, any, any whether we won this game tonight or not, uh, you know, I think our focus would still be the same on trying to find a way to to win Game Three in Memphis. And so, from that perspective, that doesn't change. It's it's one game at a time, and we lost this one, and now we have to focus on the next one. Nick said you guys, he thought didn't have the energy you did in Game One at the start of this game. Did you, do you agree with that? And if so, why? Yeah, it did. It did look that way. I don't. I don't know if everybody realized it until we, uh, you know, I think saw some of the film at halftime and uh, just could see the difference in the body language and the energy that guys were playing with. Um, I think everyone's, you know, mindset was right in terms of uh, you know wanting to come in here and win. You know, if anything, maybe guys were too pumped up and uh, maybe that was a little bit draining. Uh, but. I don't think it was because guys, you know, didn't respect our opponent and, and come in here ready to play. We just didn't get the job done tonight. Is there uh, something with the rhythm or pace of this game um, in that flow that was different tonight than maybe in game one? No, not really. I thought they were more efficient offensively. Uh, and so we didn't get as many defensive stops and, and hold them to, uh, you know, a lower field goal percentage, which, uh, you know, allows us to get out in transition, play in the open floor and, really keep the pace of the game the way we like it. Uh, you know, it was 46 to 43 at halftime, and uh, that's more of a, a Grizzlies pace. And so, you know, we have to figure out ways to be more effective on the defensive end. Uh, you know, they had some guys come off the bench, and Udry and uh, Tony Allen was effective. You know, Mike Miller made a timely basket, and, uh, you know, Courtney Lee was also effective at times. So, we, you know, we have to continue to focus on, on the defense. You mentioned that regardless of whether you'd won this game or lost it, that the mentality and focus heading into game three is going to be the same. Is there yeah. a confidence that you guys have in, in the general game plan and, and just want to go out and execute it? I think you, you, you have to have, you know, that type of belief and confidence in, in your team and, uh, you know, and realizing that, uh, you know, anything you want to accomplish at this point in the season, uh, you know, you have to be able to win on the road no matter what. And uh, the Grizzlies were able to do that tonight. So it's obviously possible. And so we, we have to take these next couple of days, uh, you know, prepare ourselves to be ready to go into Memphis and give ourselves a chance to win on Thursday night. Eric, Derek, could you uh, expand on Tony Allen? I mean, what makes him so, you know, talented or annoying or all the above? Even his teammates can't figure him out sometimes, but he seemed like he was a factor on both ends tonight. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how much I have in that regard other than just the I fact that he... seen him over the years like you have. What, when he, even when he was in Boston, what, what does he do? I've never been on the team with him. I, all I can say is that he plays hard. You know, he plays hard every night, and, you know, I, I think that's a, a very important trait to have in this business, and, you know, he does that. With the, couple the more. perseverance at the end of regulation, the miraculous ending to kind of push it in overtime, is anything gained from, from that? Um, no, I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, we, we should understand at this point that, uh, you know, the game is never over, uh, whether you're ahead or behind. You have to keep playing until the clock's at zero, and, uh, one team won or lost, and so tonight was an example of that. And uh, you know, we we have to understand uh, that we we can't necessarily wait, uh, you know, to play with that type of urgency uh, when we have to. Uh, you know, we didn't start the game with that sense of urgency, and that's something we'll have to do on Thursday.